What would you do if the lights went out and stayed out? Today we're going to tackle a scenario that could literally happen anytime. A blackout. And not just a short one, but a prolonged power outage that could leave you in the dark indefinitely. While that might sound scary, in this blackout preparation video, we'll go over the seven survival tips you'd need to make blackouts a little less scary. Number 1. Portable Generator First, let's talk about perhaps one of the most crucial items to have during a blackout, a portable generator. Having a reliable and sturdy generator on hand during a blackout can be a lifesaver. It helps keep your food fresh, your appliances running, and even maintain a comfortable temperature in extreme weather conditions. Not just that, you can also charge your phone, run a water purifier, and keep yourself connected to the outside world. Here are some tips. Always place the generator generator outside and away from windows to avoid carbon monoxide risks. Don't forget to do regular checkups to make sure it's ready for action when you need it most. Also, what good is a generator without fuel? So make sure to stock up on some extra fuel so you're all set when the time comes. Number 2. Battery Powered Lanterns Light is a fundamental necessity during a blackout, providing not just visibility but a sense of security in a time when everyone is panicking. Battery powered lanterns offer consistent and bright light, are portable, and come in various shapes and sizes with different brightness levels and battery lifespans. Having one in every room ensures safe movement, especially in houses with stairs or potential trip hazards. This also allows every household member to engage in activities, easing stress and boredom during a power outage. What's great is that these are not some one-time use items. Their wide range of applications makes them an invaluable investment. Just like we discussed with fuel for generators, when you stock these lanterns, make sure to stock up some batteries as well and check their condition regularly to ensure they're ready when needed. Number 3. Non-perishable snacks and meals When the power is out for an extended period, getting access to fresh food food becomes tricky with no refrigeration and cooking options. That's where a well-stocked stash of non-perishable foods comes in handy. Non-perishable foods cover a wide range, from canned goods like vegetables, fruits, and meats, to dried foods like pasta, rice, and beans. Snack items such as granola bars, nuts, and dried fruits also fall into this category, offering a quick and easy source of energy. Canned goods are especially handy during a blackout. They're ready to eat straight from the can, no cooking required. Required. Just make sure you have a manual can opener, as electric ones might give up on you during a power outage. Properly stored in a cool, dry place, these foods can last for years, making them an excellent investment for emergency preparedness. Non-perishable snacks play a dual role during a blackout. They not only offer nutrition, but also provide a sense of normalcy in a stressful situation. Having familiar snacks on hand can be a comfort, especially for children, helping to alleviate some of the anxiety that comes with a long power outage. Although these foods have a long shelf life, they're not endless, so periodically check expiration dates on these items and rotate your stock when they expire. Also, don't forget about water. While technically not food, it's probably the most important thing you'll need to survive. It is also used in preparing some of these non-perishable foods. The general guideline is to have at least one gallon of water per person per day for both drinking and sanitation. It's a good idea to have at least a two-week supply of non-perishable foods for your household, allowing enough time to adjust and make alternate arrangements if the blackout extends for even longer. Number 4. Solar Charger Our smartphones are more than just communication devices these days. They are our lifelines to the outside world. They provide access to news, emergency services, loved ones, and much more. However, in a blackout, keeping your phone charged becomes a challenge, that's where a solar-powered charger comes to the rescue. These chargers use the power of the sun to generate electricity, offering a renewable and reliable power source when conventional power is unavailable. Not only is this an eco-friendly solution, but also keeps your devices running during extended blackouts. The device typically consists of solar panels, a battery, and a charging port. The panels absorb sunlight, converting it into electricity stored in the battery. This stored power 
power can then be used to charge your phone or other devices. Solar chargers come in different sizes and capacities, allowing you to choose one that best suits your needs. Portable models are compact, lightweight, and convenient to carry around, ideal for both emergency situations and outdoor activities like camping or hiking. Larger models, while less portable, can store more power and charge multiple devices at the same time, making them suitable for households with multiple members. Some models even come with built-in LED lights, offering an additional source of light during a blackout. There is one drawback to these chargers, though. Their efficiency depends on the intensity of sunlight, so it might be less effective on cloudy or rainy days. Number 5. Lighting when traditional electric lights are no longer an option, alternative lighting becomes absolutely essential. So, what are your options? One option we have are candles. They've been a source of light for thousands of years and remain effective during power outages. Their simplicity is their strength. Easy to use, widely available, and capable of providing several hours of light. We'd suggest investing in long-burning or emergency candles, as they can provide light for an extended period. However, we must must remind you that candles can be a fire hazard. Never leave them unattended. Make sure they are placed on stable surfaces away from flammable materials and always extinguish them before going to sleep. Another essential item for lighting candles and other tasks that require fire is matches. Waterproof or weatherproof matches are a good choice as they can be used in various conditions. Matches come in handy not just for lighting candles but also for tasks like cooking on a gas stove or lighting a fireplace. We can also use flashlights for lighting. These are the safer and more portable lighting solutions that come in different sizes and models, from tiny keychain versions to larger, more powerful ones. While traditional flashlights operate on disposable batteries, it's worth considering a rechargeable model or one that operates through hand cranking or solar power. These options will continue to function even if you run out of batteries. A headlamp can also be a practical alternative, providing hands-free operation for tasks in the dark. Both battery-operated and rechargeable headlamp models are easily available. Number 6. First Aid in emergencies like a power outage, having an emergency first aid kit at hand is never a bad idea. In your first aid kit, gather up a bunch of band-aids, from small sizes for minor cuts and abrasions to larger ones for more significant injuries. These bandages are super important because they help prevent infection and protect your cuts. Throw in some gauze pads and tape too for when you need to cover up larger wounds and burns. Similarly, it's best to keep a pair of tweezers. They're perfect for safely getting rid of split or anything else that shouldn't be in your skin. Paramedical scissors are handy too. They can cut tape, gauze, and even clothing in case of an emergency. It's also smart to throw in a digital thermometer, as it will allow you to monitor body temperature in the unfortunate event of someone falling ill during the blackout. Stock up on some medications as well. Start with over-the-counter medicines such as pain relievers, antacids, anti-diarrhea medication, and antihistamines for allergic reactions. Regularly check the expiration dates and replace any expired medicines. For family members with specific medical conditions, include prescribed medications, especially for chronic illnesses like asthma, diabetes, or heart disease. Make sure you have an adequate supply of their medicines on hand. It'd already be bad enough if you fall sick during a blackout. Not having the right medicines on hand can be detrimental. On that note, also store a few wool blankets so the cold doesn't have the chance to get to you. And here's a tip, throw in a first aid manual. Stressful situations can make you forget things, so having a manual on hand is like having a guide to help you with the basic medical stuff. Include disinfectant wipes or solutions, hand sanitizers, and disposable gloves in your kit to maintain cleanliness and prevent the spread of germs. Make sure to also have emergency contact information. Put down the numbers of your family doctor, the local hospital, poison control, and other relevant healthcare providers. This ensures quick access to professional assistance in case of emergencies. Number 7. Board Games and Books 
Now that you're all set to face any trouble you can possibly face during a blackout, let's tackle a problem you'll most certainly face. Boredom. Make sure you have something to keep yourself entertained. It could be as simple as having a set of board games or a deck of cards on hand, or maybe those books you've always wanted to read. While these choices might seem a bit different from practical items like lights and first aid kits, don't underestimate the importance of entertainment, especially in stressful blackout situations. When the power goes out, usual sources of entertainment like watching TV, surfing the internet, or playing video games becomes unavailable as time goes on. This can lead to boredom and increased tension at home, especially if the blackout lasts for days. This is where board games or a deck of cards come into play. They are simple, easy to use, and can provide hours of entertainment for all family members. They require no power and can be played by the light of a candle or lantern. Board Board games offer a wide range in terms of complexity and themes, from classic family games like Monopoly or Scrabble to strategy games like Risk or Settlers of Catan. There's a game to suit every interest and age group. If you enjoy reading, a blackout might be the perfect time to finally dive into that book you've been meaning to read. Books can bring a sense of normalcy and take your mind off stressful situations, offering much-needed mental relaxation. With prices going up everywhere, now's a good time to grab these items before they become even more expensive. Click the video on screen now to learn more about the crazy increase in prices we're already seeing.